Good morning, my friends. I am home. I literally landed two and a half hours ago. I just checked into the London Hotel in Leicester Square and I need to zip off because I have a nail appointment because I have not had proper gels on for like a month and I have a red carpet tomorrow. So I'm gonna get my nails done. I just got into the room. Somehow the room was ready at like midday. I've had a quick shower. I've got my gym gear on because wow, nice deodorant mark. Why is everything I wear covered in deodorant marks at the moment? I need to, <laughs> two seconds. <laughs> okay. I fixed it but now it looks like a big wet blob but it will be gone when it's dry i yeah i have my workout gear on because i'm gonna go to the gym as soon as i've got my nails done and then i have a facial at 5 p.m and i also have a styling appointment uh i think after the facial yeah so we're, we're right back into things i am so like i'm giddy I'm so happy to be here we landed and then i was like driving over the hammersmith flyover and i was like i'm home i don't know i didn't want to leave but now i'm here look i i have tears now i'm here I'm like, wow, I love London. I love my life. I'm so happy to be home. And yeah, I'm ready to go and get my nails done. Please ignore the uh, big wet patch, but this is the workout set that I am loving at the moment. They're Lululemon Aligns. And I don't know what the bra's called, but I really like it. And it's in this like chocolate brown color. So it just looks way less harsh than wearing black. I'm really into wearing like brown workout sets at the moment. But yeah, I really like this. I feel really good in this. And it means as soon as I'm back, I can gym because I have like a, an hour's gap that is just calling out for me to like, you know, move my body, but I need to go or I'm gonna be late. So I'm here at the Londoner with L'Oreal because tomorrow I'm heading to the Prince's Trust Awards with them, which is so exciting. I'm sure a lot of you know that I have worked with the Prince's Trust for, oh my goodness, I don't even know how many years. Many years and also L'Oreal. And a few years ago, I actually brought out a, a limited edition lipstick with L'Oreal and the Prince's Trust. So this is very full circle and their awards every year are just so inspiring. So I'm very excited. But the flight was, oh my goodness. Don't know what came over me. I have my whole flight routine, which I love to tell you about so frequently. I got on and zonked. As in, didn't do any skincare, didn't, like, literally, didn't even have headphones in. I fell asleep without a, an eye mask on, and then, like, an hour in, I was like, oh, I should probably put my eye mask on. Oh, it's gonna be, like, a really disturbed sleep. So, put my eye mask on. There was, like, kids crying and everything, and I just slept the whole time with no headphones in. I, I don't know, maybe I was just super tired. I know I was like subconsciously super aware that, you know, I needed the sleep, but it was a great flight. And it was also on one of the, <laughs> one of the like older aircrafts where you know the bit that goes next to your head, it doesn't move. So you can't move it in to like lean on it. Uh, but yeah. I literally slept the entire flight, so I feel a million dollars right now. I mean, I feel a bit dehydrated, but I'm sure by the time I wake up tomorrow, I'll feel fine because I'm having a pamper day, apparently. <laughs> I'm gonna have just a break to do some work and then I'm gonna run to the gym before my facial. I need a snack, so I'm gonna have a little protein bar. I have some, actually, this is really exciting. I think you're really wonky. I have some wardrobes to review, which is very exciting. So I'm having wardrobes built into my dressing room and I'm also considering having them built into the Pilates room that needs a new name, the gym, just for like storage. But I mean, I, I do want them. I just want to make sure they're right. So I need to go back and like, you know, amend the designs. Mm, so good. I'm back from the gym. I had a very chilled session and now I'm heading to my facial. I am so excited. Also, I forgot to tell you, a girl on my flight, well, actually, I don't know. No, I think she was on my flight. Had the same, well, she was at my gate. Had the same jumper on as me, which made me laugh because this is quite a new Adnola jumper, actually. So she must've got it for her trip like I did, which is really funny. But yeah, I am gonna walk up to Tottenham Court Road now, which is where my facial is. And I'm so excited. I hope I don't fall asleep. I'm going to, I know I am. <laughs> Good morning. I keep trying to talk to you and then something happens and then something else happens. It is currently, I think it's 10 a.m., 10.30, 10.43. And I've just had my hair done. My makeup is half done and I am going to get dressed. I left you last night because last night all went wrong. Basically, I went to go for my facial and the appointments were messed up and I didn't end up being able to have it. So I had to have it this morning. And you know when something just throws you off and then like my, I, I was late to my styling appointment and then I was like, oh, 
all this all this drama and then they couldn't find a pair of shoes that had been delivered to the hotel for me and finally this morning they found the shoes which is exciting uh they are these gorgeous sophia webster ones i think they're stunning but the dress that i'm wearing today is gorgeous it's so nice i am going a bit overboard with my outfits for the next like week because i'm going away so i've got them all here <gasps> It's this wonderful Stella McCartney dress. It's like a cape dress. And I thought it was going to be really overdone. And then I've just been to see everyone and they're all wearing really sparkly bright things. So I'm really happy that I'm not alone. But yeah, I woke up this morning, I gymmed and now I'm pretty much ready. I just need to clear my space up a little bit because I have to take my bags down when I go down. And then my manager Craig is coming to meet me in like 20 minutes which I'm very excited about because I haven't seen him in like 17 days I'm pretty sure I saw him the day before I left I don't know but I'm excited guys I'm home I will fill you in on the Prince's Trust Awards in a little bit but first um yes that is all mine I think we should unbox it also so sorry that this vlog is so disjointed I it's just been one of those days and normally I would oh, normally I would just stop vlogging and be like oh, I'll start again tomorrow but this is kind of the reality and yeah, I hope you've enjoyed these few random days with me, but I'm gonna carry all of these through to the kitchen and we can unbox. Kind of madness, isn't it? Like I don't quite compute how this has happened, but we need to unbox it because I leave again tomorrow and some of the things I need to take with me, some of the things I'm using to film tomorrow and some of the things I simply don't know what they are, which is probably the most exciting. I'm gonna put it out there now that if you don't like watching people unbox things that they ordered online, then this part of the vlog isn't for you. But I'm gonna open the thing that I ordered literally last night and it arrived today. I don't know how this happened. So firstly, I got the Oreo protein bars. These are so good. I actually ate one of those on the way home. And then I got this peanut butter nutter protein bar. I had one of those yesterday, actually. I grabbed it from Sainsbury's and it was really good, which is what prompted this order. And then I realized they had the Oreos on sale. And then I got this uh, salted caramel chocolate chip, which also looked really good. So I'm stocked up on my protein bars. Although if I remember correctly, there should be some more protein bars here. It's funny because some things that I, like I'm opening, I've obviously ordered and I know what they are. Others, I don't. Ooh, Space NK times Skin Rocks by Caroline Hirons. I love Caroline Hirons. I've had the pleasure of meeting her a few times and she's just wonderful. And I really love what she stands for. And I also love her hyaluronic acid that she brought out. Well, I think it was a collab. The Skin Rocks, the moisturizer face cream, this will be good. If she's got like her seal of approval on it, it's gonna be good. These are also really cute boxes. And, Space NK, we love that that is completely foldable. That's amazing. Good stuff inside. What's in here? Again, completely disposable. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. This is Beauty Bay. Meet Beauty Bay's glow filter, lightweight priming and illuminating formula that works to smooth and blur skin. Is it primer? Or a, oh, a floor, I don't know if it's a uh, foundation. Wear alone for glowing skin or under makeup as a dewy base. That's really exciting. I'm excited to try those. It's getting darker and darker. So if the lighting changes, I apologize. I just couldn't wait until the morning. Oh my goodness, this is the fragrance. This is the Clive Christian Crown Collection fragrance. This is so exciting. I love perfume and I cannot wait to smell this. I have a feeling it's gonna be insane. Okay, let's do the sad one that fell on the floor. These jiffy bags usually get a bit messy. If they have the padding, yeah, they do. Ugh. It's from Molten Brown. So we have a fiery pink pepper bath and shower gel refill. Love that. And then we have the bottle. Amazing, I wonder what this looks like. I'm gonna save this for the house. I have so many lovely things that I'm really excited about that I'm just completely saving. Oh my goodness, it's engraved. It says Emily on it. That's so kind. Thank you so much, Morton Brown. I can't wait to pop that in my bathroom. Uh, I'm not gonna show you this. This is for a YouTube video, but it's very exciting. I'm like, do I show you? I'll give you a little hint. Yeah. I'm not gonna show you though. Okay, let's open this one. I believe this is a new dress. It should be. And if it's a dress that I hope it is, oh my goodness, this is so exciting. So, there's been this dress I've been trying to get hold of for the longest time. 
and basically I need to wait longer essentially but they have a similar dress in black but shorter and I just think it's wonderful but I can rent the other one on by rotation so I might actually do that but how cute is this as like a it could be so easily a day to night dress and they do a gown version i want the gown version in white but this i just got in like the normal version so it doesn't hang on the ground i don't know perhaps midi maybe i don't know but it's stunning i won't be able to show you how beautiful it is until it's on and then i also got another one this black one's from like the core collection and then this one is from the new summer collection oh it's so stunning it's just floaty i just love the pleating i think it's beautiful so feminine so you can miss your bag Ooh. excuse me what stop it this is diptyque's london candle to celebrate the coronation so I have a couple of Diptyque candles that I bought, no, I think I have three actually, that I bought on Black Friday sale from Space NK because they had an insane deal. And I'm saving them for the house, which obviously I've been saving them since October, but how exciting. This is their London one and you can only get them in the actual cities. However, I have been told that in September every year for like a month or something, they allow you to buy them online. I don't know if that's legit, but yeah, that is just gorgeous. It's the London one, so I'm so excited to put that in my house. That's so kind. I know what this is, and it's so heavy, and it's supposed to be heavy. Oh, it's a box in a box. That's a waste, Amazon. So, I have slightly heavier weights in LA than I have here, and I wanted to get the same weight, but I really struggled to find them because in the US they're in kilograms and not pounds or pounds and not kilograms. Whatever we do here, it's different in the US. So the weights are obviously slightly different, but I just thought like, this is, yeah, I think six pounds is what I wanted to get. Six pounds is just the perfect weight, but I just, just couldn't get it perfect. So I managed to source these on Amazon. It was like the only pair of dumbbells on Amazon that were that weight. And I am very excited. It's just such a shame. They are such an ugly color. My ones here are pink and then my ones in LA are green, but I guess we have orange now, but they're like the perfect weight. I just can't do weights that are too heavy and my ones here just aren't particularly challenging. So it's nice that I've got an option to do, you know, something a bit heavier. Yay. Is anyone else the type of person that likes to look on the box to try and like figure out what it is? Oh, <gasps> stop it. Rimmel London, Disney. So exciting. Oh, adorable. Oh my goodness. This color here used to be one of my favorite Rimmel colors ever. They do such great blues, but this is so cute. Okay, this one's from Ren. The Ever Calm Overnight Recovery Balm. I love the sound of that. Oops. And then this is basically to repair your skin's barrier. <gasps> is this just a mini one? I think so. Oh my goodness. I think this is going to be amazing. I'm very excited about this. I feel like my skin's about to go into Struggle City. You know, when you know and you just feel it. It's so annoying. This one's bright. Okay, not entirely sure who it's from. Stars, this is so exciting. Oh, a split end serum. Stop it. That's so me. So it says, an extremely nourishing oil enriched with carefully chosen polymers wraps the hair with caring nourishment to reduce the number of visible split ends. That is so up my street. I'm actually going for a Kerastase blow dry tomorrow and like treatment. I'm very excited. So this is so up my street. These two, I know what they are, so we're going to move those out of the way. They're for a video. Next up, I got a new soft goat order. I actually lived in my soft goat things when I was in LA. I got them maybe like my first bit from them. Oh my goodness, maybe like three months ago. And I just love them. So they brought out their spring summer collection of like lighter knits and you know different blends and different styles and i was very tempted so this is what i picked it up look at this i just think this is stunning the cutest lightweight top and i just really like this total color i think it's it's more brown than gray which is why i kind of was like oh this is lovely because i don't really wear gray but i really wanted something that wasn't too warm and i just thought this was the most gorgeous balance it's this was the thing i was most excited about i think i'm gonna travel to geneva in this tomorrow thursday and oh, it's 
just so lovely. Honestly, Softgo is one of those brands that I'm so excited that I discovered because I just wear the pieces that I have from them on literally on rotation. My cute little like cashmere zip up, that's from them. And my, the long white dress that I wear all the time, that's also them. What's this? Oh wow, Sally Hansen for Little Mermaid. Gosh, lots of uh, nail colors. Oh my goodness, this is stunning. Look at that, the presentation. Oh, and they're gorgeous colors. I love this one. Very mermaidy. This one I'm going to open in the next vlog because I want to take it to Geneva with me and there's quite a bit in there. And I just think now's not the time. I think this is my, yes, that's my reformation order. And then this one, this one is part of that other one. And the only other thing we have is the one you're balanced on. So sorry about this. I don't know what it is with me and not being able to balance a camera, but it just always seems to be wonky at the moment. I, my center must be off. Like I must be off center if I can't get you <laughs> centered. This is not what I thought it was. I thought this was more protein bars. <laughs> it says, Glow Manifesto Ice Cubes offer a dynamic facial treatment full of potent ingredients that reveal your skin's true potential. That's very cool. So this one is the Supreme Energy and this one's the Glow Manifesto. It says, store ice cubes in your freezer for a minimum of three hours before use to apply. Select one ice cube from the freezer, remove it from its mold, wrap it in the gauze and gently apply in circular motions around your neck. That's so cool. So it's like frozen product. That's so innovative. I've not seen that at all. I'm really excited to try that. Well, my friends, that is a major unboxing. The thing that I'm most excited about is probably the Diptyque candle and the grenade bars, to be honest. <laughs> Although it's all very exciting. Actually, the new jumpers too. So much of it. But yeah, that was uh, a lot of fun. Okay, I film what I need to film. What do you think to my new top? I'm in love. I filmed a reformation haul. It'll probably be up by the time you're watching this, so I will link it. But I now have to get my real packing situ sorted. So I have an hour to get packed, which is so totally doable as long as I don't sit down. I actually, no, I have 50 minutes actually. Uh, if I sit down, that's where I will mess it up and start doing something that I probably shouldn't be doing. And <laughs> that's where it will go wrong. So I'm just putting my tripod away. Now this tripod did come with a bag, but I don't think I'm gonna travel with it in the bag. I just don't think I'm going to need to. There's not really like any bits and pieces, if you know what I mean. So I think I'm just going to slip it in the case like this. Look how tiny it folds up. So this is the first thing going in. Okay, I feel like I'm getting there. I just need to put some socks on because I actually <laughs> have to drive to London now. And I am gonna wear my cute little ballet flats with this outfit, but I, and take the jumper off obviously. But I don't wanna wear them right now because I mean, I'd rather drive in trainers, you know? I also need to leave my room somewhat tidy because I don't want my mom to walk in and be like, uh, there's been an explosion in here, which is normally the phrase she uses but I've had to pack like an overnight bag and all sorts because I'm staying over tonight before the airport and then I'll repack in the morning. It's, it's just a lot. <laughs> wow, I'm spot on time. It's exactly 1.30 and that's exactly when I needed to leave. So I'm heading into London for a hair appointment with Kerastar. Sorry if you can hear the whirring away. The fan has come on as I got in the car. But I have all my bits in because tomorrow obviously I head off to Geneva. So I'm all packed and I'm very excited to go and get my hair done. That's uh, two hair appointments this week, but the last one was just dry styling. So this is a bit different because they're gonna do like the whole shebang. So I'm very excited, but I'm heading off to Ems tonight to sleep there before we go to Geneva tomorrow because it's just nicer to go to the airport together. It just, it's just nice to get excited about a trip. That's how I feel. But yeah, I'm feeling, I don't know how I got all that done actually. I'm feeling really good about it, but I'm gonna head off now and I'll catch up with you when I'm in London and we'll head into town. So I'm like two minutes away from my appointment and I'm just waiting because I'm meeting someone here before I go in, but I actually am kind of vibing with the straight hair now. I wasn't. And now I keep looking at it and I'm like, oh, I do kind of like it. But I just think I'm way more of like a straight with volume and flicky ends. This is kind of like stuck to my head, which was a look, but I just don't know if I'm gonna make it like a regular thing. I used to have my hair like this all the time. It definitely needs a brush, it's a bit. Does the wind do this to anyone else's hair where it just gets really knotty? But I can't 
wait to have a bit of pampering and one of my friends has actually got an appointment at the same time so we're gonna have a little catch up which is gonna be really fun and I don't know what I'm gonna do afterwards. I'm literally right by Harrods so I could actually go and have a nosy and I think I will because it's light until like 9 p.m. now here which it's not like light that late in LA so I've come back and it's a bit of a shock to the system but a good shock. Just really happy. I was walking along the street it's just all giddy like I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> looking too fresh right now is it but I have had the most wonderful day I'm so excited to be back in London again I'm just thriving I'm in Em's bathroom right now about to head off to bed because we're getting up at 5 a.m. to go to the airport to go to Geneva and I'm so excited we're having a girly weekend away and it's just gonna be so much fun so I'm of course vlogging if you want to check that vlog out make sure you subscribe and I will see you tomorrow for another vlog but thank you for watching time's flying don't even think about it I'll see you in the morning good night